Today I'm going to do a screencast showing you how to set up Tasker to send location data from traveling cell phones back to the mothership home. This will allow Mr. House to announce where people are and also to announce if cell phone battery levels are low or if cell phones are turned off. The location notification happens every five minutes while someone's traveling and is done with respect to local landmarks such as the library or the grocery store. We can also manually uh, ask for current location data, for example, where is Helen? This is using the Moto 360 through a task. Helen program. is at the it's university. To Mr. House. So in the video, you can look at the video we demoed a couple of weeks ago for example. More information on that. This is the screen that I'll be using to capture the screencast. Uh, the phone here is uh, mirrored via this USB cable to uh, the big screen using a Java program called Android Screen Monitor. Now, Mr. House is running on a Linux uh, box little netbook hiding in the shelf over there, but I never use that directly. I always come to the big screen. It's so much easier to um, type and watch from here than it is that little screen. Okay, so let's get on to the screencast. This is the Mr. House web bin Perl script uh, called track.pl that we're gonna call from our phone using Tasker. I'll show you how we code up Tasker in a minute, but uh, as a little background, um, this will review this Perl script. It's a fair, fairly small, simple script that'll take the string that we pass in from Tasker and parse it into uh, the whose cell phone is it and the where it is, that's the XY GPS data. Then we will call up this uh, function we define in some user code that will give the location relative the, to the nearest landmark. And what I mean by that is uh, we keep a file that we just manually edit uh, that has the XY locations of various useful landmarks that we visit throughout the town. Uh, as you visit more places or you just play around with Google Map and just pull up some cities or venues, uh, you can just enter that and update that database. Um, this location check also will detect if the phone has moved since the last call and if so it'll announce where the new location is. Finally, it logs the data um, so we can keep track of where things were. So we'll fire up the phone now and we'll create um, a profile that, to actually call up this script. I have a um, playground here, um, project playground called MH, so I can create and test little scripts. This will be a time-based profile. Uh, we're going to run it every five minutes. Pick whatever frequency you like. Five minutes seems to be a good compromise between power usage and uh, frequency of announcements. And we're going to, uh, that's it for the profile. For the tasks, we're going to um, create, uh, name it whatever you like. Um, to uh, GPS for MH, how's that? And we're going to do, do two things in this task. We're going to get the current location. Um, that's simply a call to the task or location category. And there will be two checkboxes here you want to click. Uh, this continues task immediately and keep tracking will allow for faster response from um, Tasker. The second one we're going to call is the HTTP GET request to uh, the Mr. House server. Now in this case I'm going to use a uh, the local um, IP address and for the real usage you would put in your uh, dynamic address or your domain name if you have one that points to your dynamic IP address at home. Um, in my case, I want to keep that private, so we're, we'll enter the local IP address. Uh, this keyboard emulator I'm using 
unfortunately puts in a question mark every time I hit the shift key, so I'll edit that out. For the path here, I've actually got this in my paste buffer, so we'll just paste this in. This is the call to the script we were just looking at. So it's in your web bin directory called track.pl. We're going to say this is BBW's phone. That's me, Bruce Bennett Winter. And the percent loc is the task or variable that has the um, XY GPS data. The location accuracy will log, but we don't use that. We'll keep track of uh, how accurate that data is. And now we'll just run it. So let me bring up my uh, Mr. Oz console here. And I have some debug enabled in that track.pl script such that when I run this script, uh, we should see that debug pop up. Yeah, so there it is. Uh, that gives the location. Uh, I have, says I'm at home. And there's the XY data. This all gets logged into a database. Um, so for example, uh, this is, and it's per cell phone, so this would be the database for uh, Helen's phone. You can see her wandering about the city. If I scroll to the right here, you can see the various uh, landmarks that we use. And um, here you can see back in that track.pl, you can see that debug that we just printed out, the who and where. I also promised you a function to track battery level. Uh, this is actually uh, not a Mr. House related function. It's purely a tasker function. And I won't create one. I'll show you the one I have set up in my main project directory here. Uh, so all it does is detect when your battery goes below a certain level and then sends an email. So the profile here is uh, state edit battery level. You specify what level you want to trigger at. I have it here set at 15%. And then the task calls up this tasker plugin called send silent mail. Uh, and that simply emails to whatever address you'd like, whatever text you'd like. So when my battery goes below 15%, I'll get an email that says Bruce's phone battery is at 15%. My wife, Helen, really likes this because she has a hard time keeping her phone charged.